Hello everyone and welcome back to the Apollo 13 campaign of re-entry. Uh, previously the crew has uh, performed a burn uh, to get them on a trajectory uh, that will hit the Earth atmosphere uh, and they hovered down the lunar module and entered a PTC role. Just taking a note of that uh, voice uh, overlay. I'm playing the mission for the first time, um, and uh, 
taking notes of uh, things that I see, uh, such as bugs or uh, mission commands or sequences and audio being a little bit out of sync. Okay, Tim, uh, this is kind of a lead in to this uh, procedure that we're going to use for the uh, mid course burn. Um, I'd like to say that we're going to use eggs and it's going to be a manual burn. The attitude will be controlled manually. The start stop on the engine will be controlled manually. So, uh, we have a pretty good vector on you now, and it turns out uh, you're coming in a little bit too shallow. So what that means is uh, we're going to make our burns to uh, come in a little more steeply, and we're going to be coming in around the dark side of the earth. Therefore, to come in more steep, our thrust should be in the direction of the sun. Does that all make sense to you? Okay, so they're just basically discussing uh, the attitude and how to perform the burn uh, without having proper uh, a proper uh, aligned platform. Uh, so they're talking about looking at the sun, uh, at the Earth uh, through the coats, and then align the Earth uh, day slash night kind of line the crescent with the uh, y-axis of the coats. But uh, anyways, we'll go through that once we get a little bit closer again. Okay, uh, as soon as Jack gets up, uh, I'd suggest that we uh, go ahead and uh, break up these lithium hydroxide canisters and uh, make a couple of them. Jack could uh, work on that. It's going to take uh, four sets of hands, I think. Okay, uh, that completes uh, this mission. This was mostly a uh, plan and um, some discussions about uh, what uh, is going to happen going forward. Um, I'm not yet sure uh, how or if I'm going to implement a mini game that allows you to uh, build that CO2 device, uh, but the, ne the next few uh, the next communication between uh, Earth and uh, the crew uh, is mostly around the CO2 adapter and how it's being built 
Uh, so for now, uh, we are just going to skip over that and then I'll see how I implement that in the game uh, at a later time.